Well, good evening. I'm Kathy Kelly. I'm the superintendent of the Columbia Heights Public Schools, and I think the children are ready behind us, so I think we're ready to begin. Welcome to this wonderful, groundbreaking ceremony of the Valley View Elementary New Edition. I like to call it the Early Learning Incubator because it will give us um, the opportunity to add on five kindergartens and one preschool classroom. Uh, I just talked to Principal Fort, and as of today, we have 556 students currently enrolled in Valley View, and our capacity is 460. So how about a round of applause for Valley View? The they're the biggest elementary. <laughs> Yay. Um, I, we have some uh, special guests here tonight that I would just like to recognize. And the ones that I've seen is first I would like to introduce the school board members that are here. And I'm seeing that school board chair Scott Bardell is seated in the front row. Please stand, Scott. How about a round of applause for Scott Bardell, school board chair, Columbia Heights. I also see uh, board member Missy Lee sitting in the front. Uh, let's get a round of applause for Missy Lee, school board member. And no occasion um, in our school district would be anything less if we didn't have the honorable mayor from the uh, city of Columbia Heights, Mayor Gary Peterson. How about a round of applause for our mayor? <laughs> the mayor of Hilltop could not be with us tonight due to um, medical procedure, but he wishes you all well. Um, as we, the very first thing on the agenda is really the Pledge of Allegiance, and since we have all the young voices behind us, Mr. Shepik and the Valley View students are going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. If you'd all stand, we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance with them. And now, what we'd like to do, the rest of you may have your seats if you'd like, or those of you standing, we would like to st um, listen to a rendition of America, My Country, Tis of by the Valley View Choir. Take it away, students. That was wonderful. Thank you, Valley View Choir, and thank you for the direction of Mr. Doran Shepik, who was leading us all with that. Thank you.
there's nothing like a group of children singing that makes an evening. That was wonderful. Um, I see in the audience we have one more school board member um, who has uh, arrived just in time to hear the children sing, and that is Vice Chair of the Columbia Heights School Board, Mr. John Larkin. So there's a round of applause for Mr. Larkin. Very good. Um, now, with some special remarks, I would like to welcome to the platform Scott Bardell, who is the school board chair. Scott? Good evening. This will be a very few words. Thank you all for being here today. As you know, the citizens of this district have a history of strong support for its schools. Prior projects, including the Highlander Center and the addition of the kindergarten classrooms at Highland offer our community and our students inviting environments for recreation and teaching and learning. Today's groundbreaking, years in the making, is another step in our strategic plan to offer worlds of opportunity for every learner in partnership with our supportive community. In closing, it's my honor to be a board member in this district and to work with Superintendent Kelly and her team to help make our vision a reality. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. Thank you, Chair Bardell. And at this time, I'd like to call forward Director Kristen Stunkel, who um, will be a very big part of making the Early Learning Incubator a possibility. So Kristen, please let us welcome Kristen Stunkel. Good evening. Thank you for joining in the celebration as we break the ground to plant the foundation of a vibrant education for some of our youngest scholars. This is a tremendous event on a lovely evening and I am grateful to School Board Chair Scott Bardell, to members of the School Board, and Superintendent Kathy Kelly of Columbia Heights Public School for their vision and commitment to the students of this great district. This edition of the kindergarten and pre-K wing for Valley View Elementary represents significant and tangible connections between the growth and education of the first five years of a child's life bridging over to the elementary school years. This smooth transition, both in seamless curriculum and in the familiarity for students and families, will enable greater success in kindergarten for the student and stronger relationships for the school community. Columbia Heights Public School Community Education and Early Childhood Programs look forward to partnering with Principal Fort the teachers, students, and families of Valley View Elementary on this new collaboration. Thank you so much. Thank you, Director Stunkel. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce really a person who needs no introduction, and that is the principal of Valley View Elementary, Principal Willie Forch, to say a few words. Let's welcome the Valley View principal. Good, ev good evening, everyone, board members, Superintendent Kelly, parents, students, um, community members. Glad you're here tonight. It's a beautiful evening. I'm glad it's uh, in the 70s rather than where it was um, a few days ago. Could have been kind of treacherous out here. So glad you showed up. Uh, our staff, students, and parents are excited about this new addition. We look forward to having new spaces for our kindergartners and a preschool program. So five kindergarten classes and one preschool program, four-year-old program, which we have been anxious for years to have a four-year-old program, but we didn't have the space. So now we can and hopefully start grooming our uh, earliest young, uh, learners to uh, grow up in our Valley View uh, community school here. Uh, the new science and art rooms will free up space on the second floor so we can have third, fourth, fifth grade grades all together, four sections of each grade level. And I want to thank the uh, board for approving the uh, funding for this project. And I look forward to all of our new rooms January 2015. Not the best time of year to move and, uh, and, uh, and move and get to a new space, but we'll take it. January 2015, we'll move into our new space. And then the second phase of the construction will start uh, right then and then uh, almost a year is it a year from now? year from now, uh, it should be complete. So thanks again for coming out tonight and enjoy the rest of the evening.
Thank you, Principal Fort. And now um, I would like to have Director Holmgren um, come forward and talk, give a little bit of a project overview and introduction of our collaborative partners who are so involved in the actual construction of the project. Director Holmgren. Well, thank you very much. Um, I'm very excited to see how many people showed up tonight. Um, I had actually told our custodial staff to get quite a few chairs, and they weren't quite sure they should get this many, and we can see we should have got a few more. So anybody standing, I apologize, but I'm, I'm really excited to see everybody here. And we see a lot of support for the project. Now, the second reason you're all sitting out here behind the school is because this is where the new building will be built. If you see the building, you know, at the end of our building right here, it'll move out right up to about the top of where this hill is. Okay, and you can see where those windows are right in the middle. That'll be a hallway right into the new area. And if anybody at all has to, had looked at the new addition over at Highland Elementary School at all, it's going to be identical. It'll look exactly the same. As, as you know, Highland Elementary and Valley View Elementary actually are sister buildings. They are exactly the same building. Um, so that's kind of what it looks, what it's going to look like. It'll be six different classrooms. Um, and then talk about the, the, uh, the timing. Um, Mr. Fort had uh, talked about it a little bit, but we actually will have the new building, this new building on this end, all done by the end of by, by Christmas time, so that we will be using these these new um, rooms the first of January when everyone comes back from break. Um, the two old um, kindergarten rooms, um, which uh, Mr. Ford already also talked about, which is we're remodeling for a designated science room, designated art room. They'll be the old uh, kindergarten rooms up in front, and that will be they'll be worked on a year from now, so they'll be ready for the next school year. Um, so again, um, thank you for coming. I am going to quickly go through um, who we have working on this project. And I want to say a big thank you to uh, Northeast Bank. Northeast Bank is a local bank that we work with. Um, they are funding this project. And we're very excited that we were able to use a local a collaborative partner when we look at the financing of this project. Um, now I'm going to have them wave their hand a little bit so you can see um, who's involved. Uh, first of all, uh, Northeast State Bank, um, the chair, Belva, would not be able to make it tonight, but she is um, Belva Rasmussen. The CEO of Northeast Bank is Tom Beck. They're standing up and, and back up the road there. Um, the market president, Larry Petrick. And then we also have uh, Mike Scholl and Andrea Murphy. So a big thank you to um, the bank and helping us out with this project. Now I'm going to introduce the design team. Um, MLA Architects um, are our architect, and Mark Lenz here is the president. He's standing up by the wall there. Um, Krauss Anderson is our construction manager. And uh, we have uh, John Kingsling, and then uh, Jake Walton. He's our superintendent on the project. Um, other members of the design team, they aren't, weren't able to be here tonight, but it's uh, Hallberg Engineering and Larson Engineering, and they're our civil engineering um, Group. And then quick, I'll go through the, uh, the contractors that will be working on the group. I don't believe we have any of the contractors represented here tonight. But uh, Green Construction Services, um, they're doing the main construction. Axel, Axel H. Omen, CSA Incorporated, Diverse Construction Services, Valpro Window, LLC, Twin City Acoustics, MCI Incorporated, Steinbrecher Painting Incorporated, McDowell Company and Northern Air Corporation. Um, we were very pleased with the bids that we received from these um, uh, contractors, and we and we're all we're be able to come in under budget on this project, and we're very excited about that. So thank you to to all of them. Now I'll call up Kathy Kelly. Thanks, Bill. I get this, now we're getting to the heart of the matter and that we're actually going to do a little groundbreaking. So I'm glad that, the, uh, that we don't have mud. We actually have dirt tonight. That's a good thing. I'm going to call on uh, specific designated um, honorees uh, for, and the uh, school board members. Uh, and Bill has designated you and the children that Principal Ford has selected and Director Stunkel to come up and be involved right here. If the older adults could grab the big shovels, and if the smaller um, scholars could uh, grab the little ones, that would be great. So if the mayor and school board and banking officials and uh, some of the construction folks could come forward and then the children.
I, I don't think we're going to need an excavation crew. We'll just get Valley View out. That's what I can say. Um, I would like to thank everyone that's on the line right now. And one of the things that we did at our last groundbreaking, if there are other children or, or parents, for that matter, that would like to turn over um, a little bit of the earth, please uh, feel free to come up. Otherwise, um, we have refreshments at the back. And our architects have brought some mementos that you can bring with you, uh, take home to remember this night. I want to thank you all for coming. And here's to a great construction project. Well done. Thank you for coming.